The Pokemon world is filled with many fantastical creatures. From the vast lands, to the depths of the seas, and the limitless skies, it truly is an amazing world. However, there's another amazing world with creatures just as fantastic. Your world. The planet is filled with amazing creatures that have unique and impressive abilities. My name is Ranger Rai, and I'm here to help bridge the gap between the Pokemon world and your world. So please, join me as we go through my Ranger Logs and we talk about Pokemon and their real world inspirations. Oceans, lakes, and streams are bountiful sources of life for many creatures in the Pokemon world and yours. Water is important to just about every living thing, and life can be found in just about all of it, even in small ponds and mud. Take for example the subject of today's video, the hardy, hardshell pond skimmer, Crawdont. But before we move on, it would be a huge help if you consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. Doing these things helps this channel grow so I can bring you guys more amazing content like this. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers so that way I can make a really important video that I think will surprise everyone. But I need a little help to get there first. It only takes a second and will help us all out for a long time. But for now, let's get back to my ranger logs. Now, Corefish is known as the Ruffian Pokemon, meaning it has a habit of causing some trouble and scrapping with other living creatures, and even taking over some of their living areas. A lot of this is actually derived from the Procambarus Clarky. However, you probably know this creature under the names of the Red Swamp Crawfish, the Louisiana Crawfish, or by its nickname, the Mudbug. The crawfish is native to most southern areas of the United States and northern parts of Mexico. However, it's most famous in the Louisiana waters and swamps and is a known delicacy. Crawfish, however, are actually considered an invasive species in literally any other part of the United States. This is probably due to their amazing adaptability to live in most forms of water and their resistance to a lot of types of water that should be considered harmful to them. They can practically take over an entire area if their numbers grow fast enough, which usually they can. This is almost a direct parallel to Corefish and its evolution Crawdont. Corefish is mainly found in the Hoenn region, which is known for its abundance of water and seaside cities. Corefish are known to be able to survive in polluted water and can eat just about anything, so their range of survival is impressive and explains why they can be found in a lot of regions in differing types of water. Also, in my research, it's turned up that Corefish might not have actually originated from Hoenn, but instead a region we might not know much about yet. I hope to find out more about this in the future, and when I do, I'll definitely share it with you all. As of recently, trainers of different regions have been reported to release Corefish they have caught into the waters of Alola, and Corefish have been able to easily adapt and thrive. And while its abilities of Shell Armor and Hyper Cutter are staples of most Crustaceous Pokemon, giving them an added protection and attack potential they need, what really amazed me was its hidden ability. The ability, Adaptability. This ability boosts the power of moves that are the same type as the Pokemon. This is a perfect example of the connection between Crawfish and Corefish, being able to survive and thrive in any type of water. It's basically a Corefish that is doing so well in the water that it's adapted to, that it actually gains more power from being in the water. It's honestly amazing what these Pokemon are capable of. Now, when Corefish evolves into Crawdon, quite a few things about this Pokemon change. Its height and weight nearly double, which is perfectly natural for any creature getting stronger and bigger. However, it also takes on the dark typing. This is due to the fact that Crawdon has gone from adapting and adjusting to its water to now thriving and ruling over its environment. I did mention earlier how crawfish were considered delicacies. However, this isn't limited to just backyard broils and etouffee. Many bigger fish and animals will snack on crawfish as it tries to adapt to its environment, and it needs to become faster and tougher than them to survive. When a corefish has reached the thriving stages and evolves, it no longer needs to be pushed around, and in some cases, a crawdont will actually take over a whole pond or, on rare occasions, a lake that it thrives in. Now, a crawdont does still have some traits of a crawfish. However, crawfish don't usually grow much bigger than the size of your hand. But a lobster can grow nearly three times that size, with most of the same traits of a crawfish. 
This is due to the two species being in the same family line as near cousins. Both species are seen as invasive and aggressive, and both are seen as delicacies in a lot of the world. Ironically, crawdon isn't seen as a delicacy, as its meat is described as being foul, possibly due to its dark type nature and being rotten to the core. Now, there is something really important I wanted to discuss about crawdon, and that's one of the things it gains upon evolving. It's called bestian mimicry. For those who don't know, bestian mimicry is whenever a weaker species of a creature takes on some of the appearance of a more dangerous creature to increase its chances of survival. If you look here, Crawdon actually has some aspects of another apex predator Pokemon in its design, Sharpedo. Sharpedo is one of the most aggressive and intimidating water type Pokemon out there. So it would only make sense for a Pokemon that needs a tactical edge to take on some of its design. The opening of its armor here, combined with the shape of its body and the star on its head, can give the illusion of a Sharpedo in deeper, darker parts of water, which helps it intimidate weaker species. In fact, both the shiny form of Crawfish and Crawdon reflect the appearance of Crawfish and Lobsters. Their darker, slightly muted colors would actually be similar to how they would look in a more swampy or dirty watered area. Now, Crawdon is no pushover in battle, as it gains a lot of dark type moves like Crunch or Night Slash, and moves that involve slashing or making use of its large pincers like Grab Hammer or Razor Shell. Crawdon likes to attack ferociously and completely dominate its opponent, usually being pretty aggressive if anything enters the area that it's invading. So I definitely say to watch out if you run into one of these creatures. It just goes to show how close the Pokemon world and the real world can overlap and can provide some great education on the animal kingdom. I really hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you really like these videos, please consider subscribing and sharing these videos. It helps this channel grow so I can continue bringing more content like this to you all. Thanks again, and remember to keep exploring, trainers!